Welcome to the Cozy Magic Club Commander Show, the coziest and now spookiest Commander Show around. Thank you to Wizards of the Coast for sending us all four Dustmon Commander Precons for tonight. I'm your horrifying host, Ruby, joined by Kira, Benny, and our evil arch enemy for the evening, Attack on Cardboard. Hi, I'm Ruby and I'm playing Animatu Veil Piercer. My deck's all about casting enchantments for their miracle cost. Hi, I'm Kira. I'm playing Zimmo, the Mystery Unraveler. She is a Landfall Manifest Dread Commander. Hey, I'm Attack on Cardboard, also known as Tom, and I'm playing Valgavoth, Harrow of Souls. I'm just going to deal damage to everybody. And I'm Benny, and I'm playing Winter, Cynical Opportunist. The entire deck's about milling and then reanimating permanents with finality counters. Today we're going to be playing something a little bit different because we're going to be playing Arch Enemy and I will throw over to our favourite rules expert, Tom, to explain it. So today we are playing Arch Enemy Commander. It's an old variant of Commander that's been brought back with new rules. Effectively, there are two teams. It's a 3v1 format. Each team starts on 60 life and we each bring a 100 card Commander deck to the table. But the Arch Enemy gets a bonus Arch Enemy deck filled with scheme cards. As the Arch Enemy, I get to go first and I immediately set one of my schemes into motion. I think that about does it. Take your turn. Well, let's get into it. So I'll definitely be keeping this hand. I'll move to my upkeep and I will set my first scheme into motion. Oh, it's beginning. We've got my wealth will bury you. When you set this scheme in motion, create a number of treasure tokens equal to the number of artifacts and enchantments your opponents control. Wow, Nada. very lucky. If they control fewer than four artifacts and enchantments, create four treasure tokens instead. So good until hey. so bad. Hey. So don't worry, guys, I'm not starting with a soul ring. Would you yeah. like to cast your commander on I'm, turn one, I'm, though? I am just starting with four treasure tokens, uh, which uh, I don't have. So I'll, I'll borrow this dice, because they're, they're going to get used up very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll draw my card for the turn. <sighs> I will play... Four mana before oh, even, drawing. Drawing. even drawing. Even so drawing. No, it's two soul rings. Two it's like, soul rings. It's, sorry, it's a pre-game action of okay. two soul rings. Well, well, it's more than that, because it's any color. Treasure yes. is any color. So I will use one of these treasures uh, to cast a Thought Vessel. Uh, so Thought Vessel is a two mana artifact that gives me no maximum hand size and taps for colorless. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and add a red, a black, and another black, tap my Thought Vessel, and we will cast our Lord and Savior, Valgavoth Harrower Hara of Souls. A four mana, four, four, legendary Elder Demon with flying, ward, of pay to life, and whenever an opponent loses life for their first turn, uh, for their first time during each of their turns, put a plus one plus one counter on Valgavoth and draw a card. Don't worry, guys. That's all I'm doing for my first turn. <laughs> Over to you. I thought a turn one soul ring was bad. What is that? That's um, that's borderline CDH. Uh, what sound does that make? Uh. <laughs> 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 that was pretty um, good. All right, uh, untap. Okay. Upkeep. Draw. All right, I'm going to start off by playing God's Magic, and I'm going to play a forest. All right, I'm going to play Temple of Enlightenment, enters tapped, and I get to scry one. Uh, I will play this Quandrix Campus, which enters tapped. I can add blue or green, or I can pay four, tap, and scry one. I think that's us. I think that's us. That's <laughs> turn us. one. All Definitely right. no turn one yeah. commander nope. for us. We so pass. I will untap, upkeep. I will set my next scheme in motion. We've got premonition of your demise. When you set the scheme in motion, reveal the top two cards of your library and put them into your hand. When you reveal one or more non-land cards this way, this scheme deals damage equal to their total mana value to any target. So I will reveal the top two cards of my library, and I will reveal a land and a Rakdos, and just only deal four damage, well, to you guys. All right, 
shall yeah, we? Could have, been, could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. Mm -hmm. It's about to get worse. Oh, yeah. Premonition of our demise. We don't need a card to tell us that. I'm going to play a Tainted Peak, which taps for a colorless, or it taps for a black or a red, and activate only if I control a swamp. Good thing I do. I will tap a for a black and a red, and tap my Thought Vessel, and play Rampaging Ferocidon. A 3 minor 3 3 menace. Players can't gain life. Whenever another creature enters, uh, whenever another creature enters, new wording template, Rampaging Feldon deals one damage to that creature's controller. So whenever you guys play creatures, you take a damage. And time to get in with Valgavoth, and I'll attack you guys for four. Commander damage. Four commander, four commander damage. damage. And this will be the first time you're losing life during uh, the turn. So I'll put a plus one, plus one counter on Valgavoth, and I'll draw a card. And that's all I'll be doing for uh, well, my second all. turn. That's, that's all. all. I'll float this green in your end step. And then I'll untap. <laughs> untap, upkeep, draw. Alrighty. I'm going to play this Lenoir Wastes as my land return. I can tap it for a black or green and it deals with damage to me. Um, okay, I'm going to play Caves of Koilos. Uh, I can tap it for colorless, or I can tap it for white or black, but it will do one damage to us. So, it's our game. I will play an island. All right. We're going to follow up with a little bit of cheating here. I'm going to tap one for this soul ring, which I just top decked, which is how I will justify it. Uh, I'll tap that for an arcane signal. Oh. Uh, I'm then going to tap the arcane signet for a black. The forest for a green, and I'm gonna just for now just play this uh, Grizzly Salvage. So it's a black and a green. I reveal the top five cards in my library. I can put a creature or land card from among them into my hand, put the rest into the graveyard. So we'll reveal the top five. We've got a Cemetery Tampering, a Tranquil Thicket, a Reanimate, Stitcher Supplier, and a Viridilid Bog. Uh, yeah. I don't know how to no. read. Uh, I'm going to return this Stitcher Supplier to my hand. And unfortunately, the rest will remain in the graveyard. I'm uh, sure you have no way to get cards out nah. of the graveyard. <laughs> Unheard of. It seems like something black and green does. I'm going to tap the two and just play an Azorius Signet. And that's me. I'm good. Nobody, nobody wants to play any creatures? Um, nah. No, I'm okay. Oh, no okay. creatures here. So we will. Three, two, two one, one, pass. Untap, upkeep. I'll look to set another scheme in motion. This time we've got my followers ascend. When you set this scheme in motion, put five plus one plus one counters on a creature you control. It gains flying and vigilance until the end of turn. If you control no creatures, instead create a four four color scarecrow artifact creature token with vigilance. Um, I think I'm going to put five counters on Valgavoth and just put him up to six. You know, we initially said, what if this game takes less than an hour? What if this game takes less than ten minutes? <laughs> Quick game's a good game. I will draw my card for the turn. I will play a land. Let's continue the slaughtering uh, and play Mogus, God of Slaughter. I would very briefly like to interrupt you to do the only thing blue mages are capable of doing. <gasps> oh, don't you dare. <laughs> I would like to tap two blue for a counter spell. Uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll let it slide this time. <laughs> um, yeah! And counter spell, need I say more, counter target spell. Let's go. All right. Big play. Yay! For your insolence. He can be stopped. <laughs> Was trying to save it for the commander, but I can't beat a pre-turn one. I will swing in for a casual 13. And 10 much, commander damage. 10, 10 commander? commander? Yep. I, I, this is, yep. Okay, now we go here. Mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And how Three. much? 3. Great. So currently we are 7 commander damage away from losing this. I'll also trigger my Valgavoth, you know. Put a plus one, plus one counter, and I'll draw a card. I'll pass the turn. <laughs> Untap. I'll keep. Draw. Okay. I am sadly missing my land drop. Okay. 
Uh, Says the man with five mana in play. Yeah, <laughs> look at this. I, I only <laughs> have three lands in play. What it is this? It ain't too bad. Huh? It ain't too bad. It oh, ain't too bad. My commander's only an okay. 11 11. Uh, <laughs> look, I'll, I'll pass this for now. I'm going to play Tainted Field as my land. I will play an island. Alrighty. I am going to tap the Sol Ring and then I'll tap this for a green this for a black, and we will play the commander. Ooh. The commander is Winter, Cynical Opportunist. It is a 2-5 with Death Touch. Uh, whenever Winter attacks, mill three cards, then it has Delirium. So at the beginning of your end step, you may exile any number of cards from your graveyard with four or more card types among them. If you do, put a permanent card from among them onto the battlefield with a finality counter on it. That sounds like a creature entering the battlefield. Ooh. I'll trigger my dinosaur here and deal damage to you guys. Which then triggers Valgavoth, so I'll put an extra counter on him. Great. No big deal. He needs and that. And i draw a card. It's a 12-12. Don't worry if guys, it wondering. only triggers once this turn. Uh, look, we'll also follow it up. We'll just take another one damage. Oh, what? Uh, for a black mana, I'm going to play the Stitcher Supplier as well. Uh, when Stitcher Supplier enters a battlefield, we'll mill th I'll mill three cards. Uh, we got a Ren and Seven, an Obsessive Skinner, and a Necroblossom Snarl. Dinosaur once again. Okay, well, I'm going to tap some stuff, and I think I can bring out my Girly. So I can only use this one for colorless, so I am going to use it to tap for two, for one, white, and a blue. And then I'm going to, oh, I'm going to have to do a little bit of damage to us too. <laughs> I think, <laughs> let me just double check. Yes, I am going to have to uh, give us one damage to use as a swamp, sorry. Um, <laughs> and also tapping Temple of Enlightenment to bring out Animatu Veil Piercer. She is a 2-4. At the beginning of my upkeep, I can surveil, well, I have to surveil two. That means I look at the top two cards in my library, put any number of them into your graveyard, and the rest on top in any order. Each enchantment card in your hand has Miracle. Its Miracle cost is equal to its mana cost reduced by four. So I may cast a card for its Miracle cost when you draw it, if it's the first card I drew this turn. Now, while you are while you are all just a team, you are still my individual opponents. So you will take a damage from your Pain Land, which will trigger Valgavoth, so he will go up, and you'll take a damage from uh, for, uh, my Dinosaur, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, for the Anamatu coming to play. Obviously, I'll draw a card. There. Are we square for the life? I took the I took the one damage for the yep. land and, and from your from bitey dino. dinosaur. Notice how none of my lands cause us pain. Just want to put that out there. Team player. Team. I'm a real team player here. Magic is pain, <laughs> hmm. especially mm -hmm. when you play arch enemy. <laughs> Valgavoth loves you guys just sacrificing a piece of yourself for him. I get the feeling we're going to die next turn. Just a Maybe. In a game of Magic the Gathering. In a game of Magic the Gathering. Um, I will tap for three and I'll play this beautiful Kefnet, the Mindful. Uh, Kefnet is a flying, indestructible uh, god. Uh, but Kefnet cannot attack or block unless I have seven or more cards in hand. And I now have five. <laughs> no, we nearly had the flying blocker. He's also a creature. Yep, so we'll boink. Uh, trigger my Valgavoth, doink. Don't worry, guys, he's only at 14 power. So close, but yep. so far away. I think, that, I think that's all we can do, guys. I think our death was foretold. What was the, what was the first uh, one called again? What was the first again? scheme? A premonition of your demise. Yep. Yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. Yep. That'll do all right. it. Yeah. All righty. Three, Three, two, two one, one, pass. pass. All righty. Untap. Upkeep. We'll set my next scheme into motion. Cue bowserlaugh.mp3. I am Duskmorn. At the beginning of your end step, you may cast a spell from your hand without paying its mana cost if you do abandon the scheme. Now, this is an ongoing scheme, so I don't have to use it this turn. Uh, and it will carry over into my next turn. I don't think we're making it to your end step. <laughs> You'll be joining uh, joining our amazing cult we have here. 
comes with excellent benefits. I'll play my command tower for the turn. We're gonna we're gonna go all out here. Whoops. Uh, we're gonna just tap the three lands. We'll get a red from here, and we're gonna uh, blitz in new card. I believe it's new card. Star athlete. It's a three mana three two that has a blitz for four. It has a menace. Whenever star athlete attacks, choose up to one target non-land permanent. Its controller may sacrifice it. If they don't, star athlete deals five damage to that player. Uh, I will take a damage from my own uh, dinosaur. Uh, oh, down one damage! Yeah. And one we didn't even yeah. do it! Big arch enemy, scary guy, <laughs> bing bong! Um, we did not, <laughs> didn't even do it. I'll, uh, I'll get in and... Um, Winter, you you want to join our cult? Do do you want to be sacrificed or do you want to take five damage? We'll take the five ledge. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let you do the damage. Go on. You uh, want to do, uh, do it? Do you want to do the damage? We'd, we'll definitely deal the damage. Valgavoth will trigger and go up again. And um, and how much? How how big is Valgavoth? Right Va he's just four plus twelve. He's just a sixteen sixteen with flying. Now don't forget, guys. You've got, you can block with all of your creatures together. You share the battlefield. With all so that flying. You just need to deal with two menace creatures and uh, a 16 16 flying. Which we can't deal with. If anyone has a way to draw me two cards, I can block it. Hold up, I'm in Golgari. <laughs> nope. What about joining and becoming one with Valgavoth? It's nice knowing you. Is Tom Cruise a member? <laughs> Definitely. Because this is real Mission Impossible type stuff. We're dead. I'm joining the cult! Welcome! <laughs> Yay! That's all she wrote. Do it, do it, do it, 16. Let, it, let him do the last point, let him do the last point. Yeah. GG! Round two, fight! Alrighty team, I'm gonna kick off my first scheme and set it into motion. What have we got? Choose your demise. When you set the scheme in motion, look at the top four cards of your library and separate them into a face down and face up pile. An opponent chooses one of those piles, put those cards, uh, put that pile into your hand and the other onto the bottom of your library in any order. So one, two, three, Four, and we get a face up and face down pile. Okay. All right. Can we all? Can the council decide? The council will be able to decide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to reveal to you guys a bog and a decree of pain, and these two mystery cards. So, which ones do you want me to have? The land and the decree of pain, or two mystery cards? What is it? <laughs> oh, they're not that good. Okay, thought it would work. Was wrong. Um, all right, what do you guys think? I think this is bait. I I, I think it's bait because it looks bad. I think this is bait. Those could be creatures. All right. I think it's also bait, but I think it's double bait. So mm. my thinking is we have an eight mana board wipe that draws cards and a land. Mm -hmm. Eight mana. The worst thing that we've seen so far from game one made four treasures pre-game, and then also made treasures for stuff that we didn't have at the time. This is time mm -hmm. and a land. No idea. Yeah. I'm in favor of this for me. From game one. Benny, this is the first game we've ever played. Yeah. I think known information is, is better to us. Okay, let's, let's, you can have the known cards. Okay. And we'll just... Mystery cards, no one's going to know what these are, not even the audience at home. Straight to the bottom of the deck. I don't want to discard, so I'm going to play a Swamp, tap it, and play a Basilisk Cult. Mm -hmm. It's an artifact, uh, that, uh, sorry, an equipment. Uh, equipped creature has Death Touch and Life Link. Equips for two. And I'll pass the turn. All right, untap nothing. Upkeep and draw. All righty. <laughs> I'm gonna play one of the best cards in Magic, a Swamp, baby. Hey. Um, do you guys wanna see my rock collection? <gasps> I would love to see your see rock, collection. rock collection. God, we love geology. I'm gonna play Underground River. I'm gonna tap it. 
for a soul ring. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Better, better. And I'm going to tap my soul ring for an Azori. Oh, uh, damn. Check out my rocks. Whoa, that's what is pretty this, good. Enemy? That's me. Those are cool rocks. Um, Much gonna, stronger start this I'm play time. This Evolving Wilds. Uh, I can sacrifice Evolving Wilds and search for a basic land, put it onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to crack this Evolving Wilds. I'm going to go search my library, read some cards. <laughs> While you're finding that land to put on tapped, I'm going to tap this swamp. I'm going to play this Stitcher Supplier. So when it ETBs, uh, I'm going to mill three cards. So we're going to mill this Hornet Queen, this Mulch, and a Temple of the Falls God. Got a tapped forest. I and think I will shuffle. Is that all from everyone? I think that'll be us. All right, three, three, two, one. one. Pass. Untap. Upkeep. Time to set in motion my next scheme. We've got only I know what awaits. When you set a scheme in motion for each card type among permanents your opponents control, you may put a permanent card of that type from a battlefield onto your hand. So there's artifact, and land, creature. and creature. So I will go artifact, and I'll put into play a Mask of Grizzlebrand. Mm -hmm. Three mana, legendary artifact, equipped creature has flying lifelink, and whenever a equipped creature dies, you may pay X life where X is its power. If you do, draw X cards. Uh, I will put in a Temple of Malice into play. It's blue, black, tap land, and I get to scry one, which I will. I will leave that on top. Uh, artifact land and creature. I don't have any creatures to put. Woo! Let's go. I will draw my card for the turn. I will play a land and let's play another cool equipment. I'll play Lightning Greaves. Uh, two mana artifact, a creature has haste and shroud, and it equips for zero. So, see your rock collection, I raise you my equipment collection. What is all this gear? <laughs> you don't have any creatures. I will pass the turn. All right, let's <sighs> untap. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. All righty. I'm going to play this Tree of Tales as my land for turn. Play my island as my land for turn. Uh, I will play an island as well. It's my land for turn. Right. Alrighty. I. I'm gonna fill the bin a little bit. I could do this at instant speed, but I'm gonna choose to do it now. So I'm gonna play this Grapple with the Past. Uh, I'm gonna mill three cards, and I can return a creature or land from my graveyard to my hand. So let's go a Millen. There's a Harmonize, there's a Vile Mutilator, and a Arcanogenesis. Ooh, good reprint. Uh, I can return a creature to my hand. I think I'm going to return a land to my hand. I've got choices. All right, look, Council, 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 Council. Approach the Council. Please consult the council. Look <laughs> elsewhere, sir. Yeah. All right, so a bit of key information. I have this in my hand. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. I also have currently this and this in my bin. Mm. Given the mana situation, I think this is the right option. Whereas this is maybe the better long term. Oh, this is, I mean, that's also good for... Yes. Yeah. All right, so I'll return this back to my hand. Yep. That's me, Ruby. All right. But he does get to see what you returned. Yeah, what did you it return? was from your I returned the Vile Mutilator to my hand. Um, I am going to have to do a little bit of damage to us. The first damage to us is going to be from me this turn. Um, because I am... <laughs> uh, I'm going to... Uh, tap my soul ring for one and one to pay the blue and the white. And then I will have to tap this one for black and it'll do one damage to us. Ugh. First blood. But just hitting myself 
in hitting ourselves our self. <laughs> in the face. Um, but I'm doing it for a good cause. I'm bringing out Anamatu Veil Piercer, my commander. She's a 2 4. At the beginning of your upkeep, I surveil 2. Each enchantment card in my hand has miracle. Its mir miracle cost is equal to its mana cost reduced by 4. Beautiful. I like your rock collection so much. Uh -huh. I'm going to play this arcane signet. Uh, it is an artifact that allows me to tap it and add one mana of any color in my commander's color identity. So I can tap it for blue or green. That's a nice rock. It's a nice rock. I like it. It's not just a boulder. <laughs> it's, it's a, a rock. rock. That's a nice boulder. That's it for us, I think. <laughs> All right. Three, Three two, two, one. Pass. pass. All righty. Untap. Scheme time. Mm-hmm. What sound does a scheme make? <laughs> That's pretty good. Time bends to my will. When you set the scheme in motion, take an extra turn after this one. Ah. Skip the uh, untap step of that turn. Okay. Seems fair. Seems fair. Balanced. Balanced sure. gameplay. You need that extra sure. turn. Gav, we'll talk later, yeah? Fortunately for you, I do not have my commander in play. I will... Fortunately. Play a geothermal bog. Tap. Taps for one of two colors. You're a geothermal bog. Tell him. <laughs> Tell him. For that, I'm going oh, no. to <laughs> pay three and summon a rampaging Ferocidon, a three mana, three, three, a menace. Players can't gain life whenever another creature enters. Uh, for us, the Don deals one damage to that creature's controller. Now, I'm going to give him a nifty pair of boots. And Anamatu is a 2-4. Um, I don't think it's worth attacking here. Swing so ledge. Let it happen. We'll, we'll just sit back and relax. You know what? I think I'm going to take an extra turn. Why not? Uh, I'll skip my untap step. I will go to my upkeep and set in motion my next scheme. And we'll get a you cannot hide from me. Ongoing scheme. At the beginning of combat on your turn, up to one target creature gets plus two, plus two, and gains vigilance until the end of turn. It cannot be blocked. Uh, fun fact though, unfortunately, my Frostodon has Shroud, so he can't be the target of spells or abilities. Uh, at the beginning of each opponent's end step, if that player has less than half their starting life total, abandon the scheme. So this scheme stays in play until I get you guys down to 60 life. All right. Um, I'll Cyber. draw a Look card. Look at this artwork. That's crazy. Less than half? So 30. 30. I've got to get 30. you guys down to less than 30. Yeah. And fortunately for you, I miss my land drop and I pass the turn. Alrighty. Woo! On tap. You have an upkeep trigger. Upkeep! I get to surveil too. So one more time? Nice, 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 nice. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Can I see? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're fine. Um. <laughs> uh, on my upkeep, I surveilled, and I did put both of them on top. All right. With nothing yep. in the graveyard. And we'll draw as well. And draw. And we'll draw. I am finally going to get to do what my commander does. So I am going to pay. Um, what do I pay here? I'm going to pay the. Single colorless to tap for blue and white. I'm going to float that white, uh, float the blue, and play Monologue Tax. It's an enchantment, a miracle. Whenever an opponent casts their second spell each turn, I create a treasure token. We create a treasure token. I create a treasure token. You. I, me. Yes, but it is for the family. It's for the council. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The greater good. <laughs> I'm doing treasure, it for, treasure us. for the council. The greater good. Um, since I have floated that blue, I might spend it. Yep. I'm going to use that floated blue to use something at instant speed and play Otherworldly Gaze. I get to surveil three. Um, look at the top three cards in my library, put any number on top or in the graveyard, and I can flash it back for one and a blue. Nice. Pew, pew, pew. Efficient. I am going to put two on top and one in the graveyard. Uh, these two on top and in the graveyard, I'm putting Phenomenon Investigators. Uh, so that one is gone and that is 
The, anything else in the upkeep? Uh, or the draw step. drop. Yep. No, we're on, on our draw step. Phase. On to main phase. Yep. Yeah. I play a phase. forest. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah, let's use all of this. We're going to tap one and play Brainstone. And then I'm going to tap two and sacrifice it to draw three cards and put two cards from my hand on top of your library in any order. Yeah, okay, so I have sacrificed the brainstone. I'm gonna draw three cards and put two cards on the top in any order. You can also put cards from your hand. Yeah, I was gonna say, well. it's, it's, it's yeah, uh... Yeah, yeah. This could be a real good setup for next turn if you've got any like big bombs. Council is in session? Council is in session. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get alert my eyes this time. You and your church of demons, look away. Listening man. in. Yeah, 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 yeah. These two are going to go on top of my library. Cool. I'm going to play an island and I will tap for four and I will cast my commander. Let's go. Uh, this is Zimone, Mystery Unraveler. Uh, she's a 3-3 three, three with landfall. Whenever a land I control enters, I manifest dread if this is the first time this ability has resolved this turn. Otherwise, I may turn a permanent I control face up. And you'll trigger my and I will, dinosaur. Ah, ugh. All right. Combat? Combat. I'm a swing for one. Ooh. Why would you swing into his... Because it's a stitcher supplier. Yeah, I'm not going to block that. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take one. First blood. Any other swinging? Hey, that was really good. Uh, no, this is, has summoning sickness. You did it! Woo! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, team. <laughs> Damage, that's that right. wasn't that's it from him us. to himself. That's it, All that's that it. for a drop of blood. All yeah. that for a drop of blood. <laughs> How's it taste, man? <laughs> I think that's All right. it. Alright, three, two, two one, one, pass. pass. Alrighty, we get to untap this time. We'll set a new scheme. We'll get to keep the old one going. Mm. A Kimbo scheme? Behold, the power of destruction. When you set the scheme in motion, destroy all non-land permanents target opponent controls. Hey, Ruby. I'm, oh my god. You got a pretty nice rock collection over there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. The Kassa, give me Bowser Evil Laughter MP3. Again. And oh. uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, um, also so the monologue tax. We'll get rid of that real quick. Everything. <sighs> That's crazy. And Command zone. Unfortunately. My girl! Uh, so that, that's certainly a, a uh, Yeah, that's a, a bomb. Scheme. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Now yeah. I draw my card. Oh, draw. Tell us about that. I was just severely punished, and now the next thing I was planning on doing is also obsolete. <laughs> so let's try and fix this. I'm going to pay three, and I'm going to make a blood pact. Uh, target player draws two and loses two life. So I'm going to target me. Uh, you can target anyone with that. I can, but I'll target me and pay homage to my lord and savior, Valgavoth. Draw a two. Worth a shot. There we go. I will play an exotic audit, orchard. Uh, we have black in play, mm -hmm. so I can tap it for black. Um, we will put... A two, a red, and a black. I'm going to cast Storm Fist Crusader. Two mana, two two with a menace. Human Knight. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws a card and loses one life. Uh, I'll take one damage from my Frostodon, and we will equip the Storm for. I will attempt to equip the Storm Cru Crusader with Lightning Greaves. Now has haste, and we'll get into the red zone and attack you guys with two menace creatures for a total of five. We will okay. take five. And... Oh, I missed a trigger. Sorry, team. Can we revert my ongoing scheme? I'll give my uh, Ferocidon plus two, plus two. It can't be blocked in Vigilance. Take another two. Boop, boop. We'll yeah. take another yes, two. There we go. Thanks, team. And... It's hard work Passing being the, the arch enemy. Yeah. But, you know, right. they don't say being evil is, I, is that hard. On <laughs> your... Hmm. I'd, I'd wait. Oh, I'm not going to do that. It's okay. more just, sure. I want to fill the bin a little more. Yeah. So I'm going to tap two on your end step, and I'm going to play this Inscription of Abundance. I'm not going to pay the kicker cost, but I'm going to make target creature I control fight target creature I don't control. I'm going to make my Stitcher Supplier fight 
the Dynador. Dynador. Stitches is going to die. When Stitches dies, I'm going to mill three cards of Nixilis, a Woodland Cemetery, and a giant Adfage. That is how it's pronounced for legal mm. reasons. Uh, we'll go to our turn. Perfect. Upkeep. Draw. I don't mean to be ironic, but we you've been sent back to the Stone Age in spite of your lack of rocks. Yep. I, what's before yeah. the Stone Age? Uh, I'm That's gonna, where I'm at. I'm gonna play a swamp as my land for a turn. I'm going <laughs> to play Demir Aqueduct. It enters tapped and I have to return a land to my hand. So I guess it's gonna be whatever, this island. <laughs> uh, may I approach the council? I've got some options here and I'm not quite sure what the direction that we want to take is. I'm thinking the better thing to do is one mm. of these two. Okay. Because I'd like to hit a land this turn. I'm probably opting for this card. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. Cool. Sounds good. I Agreed. will tap for <laughs> Meeting four. Adjourned. I will play a Eureka moment. I will draw two cards and I put a, may put a land card for my hand onto the battlefield. So I'll draw and draw. You'd be so surprised. No shot. <laughs> but I did not draw. The Simic deck wow. doesn't have any lands. Can you believe it? The card that I showed you earlier, yeah. mm. I'm planning to use. Sure. Uh, we know that he has a board wipe in hand that costs eight mana. The mm. cycle cost is five, which gives neg two, neg two. Yep. This is probably my best option. The other one creates a bunch of one ones. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to take a bit of damage. Yep, like it's going to hurt. Match. That's uh, tough. Well, we got 51. We got 51. Life is a resource. Every Spend mono black it. player ever. Uh, I'm going to do one. Uh, I'm going to play just a really balanced fair card. I'm going to play this reanimate. So reanimate is put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. You lose life equal to its mana value. If there's Ooh, one like thing I that. love doing, it's losing a life. We're going to bring out this little insect boyo. What does he do? Uh, so, this creature has trample. It's a 7-7, seven, seven, and when it deals combat damage to a player, create a token, that's a copy of it. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. Uh, that's pretty good. We're also going to take 7 damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's fine. That's me. Cool. Look, on the bright side, guys, the less uh, less health you have, the quicker you'll get rid of this scheme. Mm, so, this is true, uh, actually. That's not true. Com not comforting. We're actually, what, 15? 15 yeah. away from, uh, what's what's the terminology? It's not banishing. Less than half. Less than half. Yeah. Then abandoning the scheme. Abandoning, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, no, I will not be doing anything. <laughs> Good, that's All right, me. three, two, two one, one. Oh, pass. Before we pass, you take a damage from... Uh, oh, this is no. true. So another damage. Well, yeah. There we go. All right. Untap. Uh, we're going to have two upkeep things here. So we'll do the Storm Fist Crusader. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws a card and loses one life. Now for you guys, you'll each lose a life. So you'll go down three. Oh. I'll go down one and Take draw the charity a where we can get it. We'll set the next scheme in motion. My champion stands supreme. Ongoing scheme. Your commander has ward two. Whenever your commander attacks, put two plus one plus one counters on it. Whenever your commander leaves the battlefield, abandon this scheme. Double ward. Seems pretty good. Ward two and ward lose two life. Akimbo ward. I will draw my card for the turn. And... I think it's time to summon our Lord and Savior, Valgaboth, Harrower of Souls. 4-4 four, four with flying legendary Elder Demon, Ward 2 of Pay 2 Life. And whenever an opponent loses life for the first time during each of their turns, put a plus one, plus one counter on Valgavoth, Harrower of Souls, and draw a card. Uh, rampaging Frostadorms will deal damage to me. And... Let's have a think here. Now, unfortunately, you cannot hide from me scheme targets and does not give haste. So I think I'm going to have to boot up Lightning Greaves here on Valgavoth and I'm going to look to equip the 
basilisk collar on Stormfist Crusader. And I think I might have to pull the trigger there if we want to start getting through with this. How big is the commander going to get if it gets through with commander damage now? Uh, it's going to be... Five. So, no, gonna it's going to be, be six. six. It'll be six. So I can still get through. But I feel like I have to pull the trigger on this. Um, you can't target the commander right now. With the death touch. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Because then I'm banking on you to hit something off the top. Because if you don't, this gets dealt with. Oh, off the top? Yeah. I can't miracle right now because my girl is not out, but... Uh, Do you have a way to make the mana you need to make for this? Just to check, this is in response to going to equip. For the equip, correct. Yeah. Yeah. I, can, I, I can do a search. Can you give this... No yeah, guarantee. I think I have to do it. Not ideal. I'm going to tap three. I'm going to putrefy <laughs> on the attempt to equip. Uh, it's destroy target artifact or creature. Or creature. Are you it destroying the Basilisk Collis or the Stormfist Crusader? Oh, actually, I think we maybe go for the collar. We'll go for the collar. Destroying the collar? Yeah. Alrighty. Yucky collar. To the bin. Um, all right. Well, we came here to deal damage. So <laughs> we'll get in with Valgavoth. He'll get a trigger. And we'll put two plus one plus one counters on him. Um, oh, we'll do this trigger as well and give Ferocidon plus two plus two vigilance and it can't be blocked. So I'll be swinging in for five plus six. That's 11 damage altogether. Have to take it. And some of, them, some of it's commander. Let's do the five first. Yep. Two, three, four, five. Now, Valgavoth won't trigger uh, because you've already lost life this turn from the Stormfist Crusader. Right, mm -hmm. and that's six commander damage. Six commander damage. All right. Pain. Cool. And suffering? Yep. And Amen. crying. And <laughs> that'll be it for me. All right. Let's untap. All right. Let's upkeep. Draw. Okay. My land for turn is going to be this reliquary tower. I now have no maximum hand size. My land for turn is gonna be Halimar Depths. It enters tapped, I can tap it for blue, but when it enters, I look at the top three cards of my library and put them back in any order. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play an island and I'll have a landfall trigger off of Zimone. I will manifest dread if this is the first time I've played a land. And I'm going to manifest this little dreaded ghost. So, you look at the so I look at the top two cards mm -hmm. of my library and I can put one of them face down and one of them into the bin. So I'll put this one face down, this one into the bin. And this is my little manifest under here. Now, because that's a creature entering, I'll get you guys uh, taking damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty. I, I think it's time to bring the boy out. Uh, we've got some stuff in the GY, so I'm going to tap four mana. And we're going to bring out the commander, Winter, Cynical Opportunist. So he is a 2-5 with Death Touch. Uh, whenever he attacks, mill three cards, and he also has Delirium. So at the beginning of my end step, I may exile any number of cards from my graveyard with four or more card types among them. If I do, put a permanent card from among them onto the battlefield with a finality counter. Cool. All right. So we can start, we can start cooking a little bit, yeah? Get up to a bit of no good. I tried. Look what happened. <laughs> I'm not doing anything else this turn. Now, just to help oh. you guys along, I will point out you are below 30 health, so my uh, we abandoned. You Cannot Hide mm -hmm. from me will be abandoned we'll at next. your end step. Yay. All righty. I'm... I'm good to go to combat. Actually, I do have something to play now Let's that I go. think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it is going to do a damage to us, though. Is there it is if we want to put a creature. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to tap this one for a black. Uh, is this right? Ooh. Yes, and then tap for blue-black. I'm going to play Ancient Cellar Spawn. 
Each spell I cast that's a demon, horror, or nightmare costs one less to cast. When you cast a spell, if the amount of mana spent to cast it was less than its mana value, target opponent loses life equal to the difference, and it's a 3-3. Three, three. We take one from the Bam. little dino nipping at our ankles. I'm also unfortunately going to hurt us, but it's for a good cause. It's a giggling skitter pile, oh. and it's indestructible. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a 1-1. One, one. Whenever it attacks, blocks or become the, becomes the target of a spell. It deals damage equal to its power to each opponent, and for five, it has monstrosity five. If this creature isn't monstrous, put uh, five plus one plus one counters on it, and it becomes monstrous. The most important thing is that it's indestructible. There we go. All right. We love it. Let's go to combat. We go to combat. I'm going to send a 7-7 seven, seven giant insect trample right at your face. Anyone else coming my way? Any other attacks at the same nope. time? Nope. No. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put my dinosaur up to block. Alrighty. Yeah. Now, sometimes it's a three. It's just a three, three. Three, three. So you'll take four. Uh, this will deal combat damage, meaning that I'm going to make a copy that is a seven, seven. Uh, I definitely have one damage. here. Oh, perfect. Amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh. I also have an end step trigger, unless there's anything else that we want to resolve. I'm all good. So I'm going to exile, now that that annoying thing is gone, I'm going to exile four different types. I'm going to exile uh, an instant, I'm going to exile a sorcery, a land, as well as this hornet queen. Uh, four different types. I'm then going to return the hornet queen to the battlefield with a finality counter on it. Uh, Hornet Queen is a flying death touch 2-2. Two, two. Uh, when Hornet Queen enters, I create four 1-1 one, one green insect creature tokens with flying and death touch. Ooh. Just note as well, the other cards that you uh, did are exiled. exiled. Thank you. Get them out of the gym. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. All right. But yeah, notably now, we got some flying death touch blockers. We love it. We love to see it. All righty. So... Cooking with a little bit of gas, gang. Cooking with a little bit of gas. All righty. Uh, look, that's me all done. All righty. Well, I'll have my, do my end trigger and we'll end this scheme. You know what I really love to see when the, you know, the heroes, they think, yeah, we're going to do this. I want to take you guys all the way back to uh, the very first turn. There were two cards that we revealed. A decree of pain. Uh, Let it yep. happen. So I'm going to untap. Uh, I'm going to go to my upkeep. We can all lose a life and draw a card. Are we all? We yep. will lose three mm -hmm. life. This is the first time you've lost life. Oh, I missed a trigger last turn for Valgavoth. Oh, well, that's uh, my fault. Valgavoth will go up. I'll draw another card from Valgavoth's trigger. We'll set my next scheme in motion. My followers oh, ascended. Uh, when this, when you set this scheme in motion, put five plus one plus one counters on target, uh, on a creature you control, does not target, and it gains flying and vigilance until the end of turn. So, it uh, doesn't target, so we're going to pick the main man himself. Mm -hmm. uh, so he goes up to, he's now a 12-12. Uh, and, uh, yeah. A 12-12 that will get an additional two plus one plus one counters on it. Seems pretty good. I'm gonna draw a card. That's pretty good. I am gonna play a swamp for the turn. That's a nice. Mm -hmm. Huh? Your favorite card? Yay! And have it. Now, and again, we have all of these um, pesky bugs to deal with. So, yeah, as you guys have chosen for yourselves we will go two three four five and i am gonna cycle decree of pain yep. and deal, uh, give everything minus two minus two goodbye man my ancient cell spawn's still here uh, this had a finale counter so it will exile yep it was good while I lasted. It felt good for a little bit. A little, yeah. Not your uh, And I'll draw a card from the cycle. And 
we will get uh, tap two and put an arcane signet into play. Everybody knows what that does. I will look to move to combat. My guy has vigilance. I'll attack. I'll put two more plus one, plus one counters on him. He has minus two, so two plus ten. It's only 12 damage coming oh, yeah. through. Ah, just 12 commandos damage. Just 12. Just 12. Okay. So 12 commander damage coming through. Can you Is guys? it flying? It is flying. Okay. It has vigilance. Okay. It has double flying, actually. So okay, flies twice great. as high. Necessary. You need double reach. It's a real mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> and... <laughs> I will pass the turn. All right. All right. Let's untap. Let's untap. You have an upkeep trigger. Does Winter have an upkeep trigger? Uh, no, on attack. On attack. Okay, mm -hmm. lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely. Are we drawing? And we draw. We draw. All righty. All right, I got no land, so if you go to land, by all means, throw that down. Yep, Azorius, Chancery. Um, it enters tapped, and I do have to bounce something back to my hand, but at least now I have some white on the board. Um, unfortunately, I can't use that until the next turn. Uh, uh, I am first going to tap my Arcane Signet for green, a forest, and an island to play this Augur upon him. I may look at the top card of my library and I may play lands from the top of my library. Rude. <laughs> um, wow. That's not fun. Uh, I'll play a Reliquary Tower as my land for turn. I will trigger Zimone's landfall ability and I will look at the top two cards and I will manifest dread for one of them. I'm going to manifest, manifest dread. He's a little scarier this time. Yeah, he's very spooky. Ooh. Yeah. Very on theme, very on theme. Thank you. I like it, I like it. This guy as well. Artiste. I have some things Artiste. I'll do as well before we go to combat. I'm going to <laughs> tap for one and play Ponder. Mm -hmm. Look at the top three cards in my library, put them back in any order I may shuffle. Mm -hmm. so I don't have to, um, and then I can draw a card. I'm just going to leave that there for a second while I look at the top three. It's like gorgeous new artwork as well. Yeah, it's look beautiful. at that. The orbs. Look at the orbs. Pondering, that, pondering your orbs. Pondering. Several of them. She three of them. pondering her orbs. Exactly. I like some of these artists. This last little scheme card that we had at the bottom, was this the last one that was just yep. here? Look at that. That's mental. Shout out. Shout out Alan Williams. <laughs> You're killing it, G. Love you, Ledge. Okay. So they have to go back in any order. You know what? I. You can choose to shuffle. So I you might don't like shuffle. Any of them. Um, I'm swinging. And, and then GR card at the end. So. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put these back. I'm going to shuffle and draw a card. This Do goes into the green. Oh, it's common, Ledge. Your, your destiny has been foretold already. Okay, big dog. <laughs> your destiny. You'll, you'll join our wonderful cult. You'll get an awesome headband with antennas on it. Mm -hmm. The moth cult. What's the subscription the fee look like? Uh, free, but you get uh, an unlimited uh, access to static on all of your TVs. Oh, <laughs> oh no, they not might, the sound. My tinnitus. Uh, they might actually put me to sleep. You get warm, right. uh, sorry, warm uh, bitty milk. Ooh. Oh, like, bitty milk. Yeah, nice. Bits mixed into your milk. Nice. Okay. Delivered to your door okay. every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a single pin under your pillow, just in a random spot every mm. night. Mm -mm. It's great. It's lots of perks. Side up. It's lots of perks. <sighs> okay. A lot of five star reviews, huh? Uh, across all of Duskmorn, nothing there you but go. five star reviews. There you go. <laughs> Um, while we're here, I am going to tap two and play a mind stone. So I got one more little rock back. Um, and that's that's it for all me. Right. We're going to combat. I'm going to swing it all. Mm -hmm. You're going to swing right. it all. I'm going to swing two seven sevens with Trample, as well as my Death Touch Commander. Uh, on attack, I'm going to mill three cards. We have a Forest. We have a Haywire Might. And we have a Scavenging Ooze. We'll go to blocks. What, is anyone else attacking? Nope, I am all good. Mm -mm. Now. I'm on 51. Yeah, take it, man. Yeah. I, take I, 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 I definitely feel like taking we, a risk. We've got two, living on the edge we, ledge. We, we've got two choices. Here. Strap on in. So, 
let's say we're putting the arch enemy cap on. Classic villain move mm -hmm. here is to get overconfident. Now, I believe the overconfidence part here is blocking one of your 7-7s. Seven is it? Because uh, it might get death touch. So, I'm going to say... I welcome it with open arms. Bring it on. I'll take, what is that? You're going to take two commander looking, looking and then to take 14. Yeah, yeah. So 16 looking total. Looking to take 16. It's nothing. Yeah. Just a little bit. Look, 51. Look, looking to take 16. Yeah. No you'll, blocks. You'll take 16. Uh, I'm going to make two more copies. Uh, have you got any more of those copy tokens that I could please um, use? Even have if you just have one? Do you want to draw a copy? Do you want to draw the insect? Mm, a buggy? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have two more copies. Oh, oh da -da 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 saved. Where did you find? I thought it's not all my copies. All right, uh, second main. Uh, I'm going to tap five. And I'm going to put up a little flying defense. I'm gonna play Ishkana Graf Widow. Ooh. So this is a three-five uh, spider with reach. Mm -hmm. Also has delirium. Uh, when it enters, if there are four more card types among cards in my graveyard, create three one-two spiders with reach. I have a creature, a land, an instant, a sorcery. I have four types. I'm gonna make three one-twos with reach. Excellent. Buy us a little bit of time. We will just use one and put a dice on it. Alrighty. That's me. I think that's us. Alrighty. Three, two, one, pass. Okay, we will untap. We will look to set a scheme in the motion. Please, no board wipe wall. Don't do it. I think this is very fitting. Oh no. We've got I am Duskmorn, another ongoing scheme. At the beginning of your end step, you may cast a spell from your hand without paying its mana cost. If you do, abandon this scheme. Uh huh. Now, uh, I'll draw my card. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a question that people usually ask in Commander games, and it's usually pretty telling of what's coming next. Mm -hmm. Can someone just confirm the amount of creatures in play? How many creatures uh, do we have in play? Yep. Two, one here. Four. Six, nine. Thirteen in play. Thirteen. On, on our boards. Thirteen creatures in play. Excellent. Don't like that. I don't like that. I'm going like to play Insert Mr. Burns. My land <laughs> for the turn. I'm going to equip... I can't... It has Shroud, so I'm not going <laughs> to equip my equipment. <laughs> I'm going to tap a single red mana. I missed an end step. Oh no! And I'm going to cast a highly discounted Blasphemous oh, Act. Bro. Now, funnily enough, Valgavoth is oh, a 14-14. So we're going to deal 13 damage to all creatures. And uh, thank you so I much. Have, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, have yeah, two yeah, yeah, yeah. mana open. Oh. I do not have a counter spell. <laughs> so far away. <laughs> so <laughs> Two untapped blue. No counter spell. See ya, spiders. Yeah, that'll, no. that'll, that'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. And then we die. And Valgovov Again. <laughs> will come in and get an additional two counters and consume Thank you all. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, headbands are on the uh, exit on your way out. Thank you. Don't forget to uh, yeah, give us your details for your moldy milk. I was desperately, <laughs> yeah. I, I was desperately trying to get this one for your guy that made the guys, and that that what destroying we my rock collection. Finally had the flying blockers. So I was so I was like yes. Casa, Q, Bowser, Evil Laugh, MP3 again for the third time. The evil arch enemy prevails. I cried now. Good night. Turns out scheming's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> GG's, GG's, GG's. Good game, good game, good game, good game, good game, good game. Good game. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this special episode of the Cozy Magic Club Commander Show. Thank you so much to Wizards of the Coast for sending us all four pre-con decks and Palms Off Gaming for sending us these sleeves. Make sure that you're following the Cozy Magic Club on all social media and our beautiful friends who I'll throw to now.
Thank you guys so much for joining us this evening. Make sure you follow Plenty of Games on all of our social accounts and come check us out in store if you need any singles or sealed product. Do you want to learn layers? Head on over to my channel, Attack on Cardboard on YouTube for more rules, tutorials, and information about the game. I'm Benny, swamp enthusiast and certified dad rock enjoyer. Suss all my links below. Thank you so much to our Patreon supporters as well. If you would like to get your name here, you can support us through the Patreon link below. And thank you to Fortress for having us. If you would like to get your Magic the Gathering fix on a Friday night, head to Manor on Tap in either Melbourne or Sydney.